here I am again! And today, we are going to prepare something that is delicious again. Something that I really miss from Mexico because I have ever find them here in the United States. And the funny part is that it's something that belongs to the Japanese cuisine. So I wonder if that is exactly Japanese or probably is something that we just invented in Mexico. Like the shell tacos that you call tacos and you will never find that in Mexico. Never. Anyway, the point is that I was looking here in California and also in New Jersey where I used to live and in any single menu I could find kushiages. Well, kushiages are skewered cheese or meat or sometimes also uh, shrimp or other kind of fish and we call them kushiages in Mexico. Then I learned you call them kushikatsu. Arigato. So maybe you sell them here. The point is that they are super yummy, yummy, delicious, and we are going to make them today. or kushiku, what? Kushikatsus. We are going to use flour. This time I'm going to use coconut flour, but you can use regular oil to fry the kushiages. And you know how much I love coconut oil, so that's why I'm going to use coconut oil, but you can use any kind of oil. Coconut flakes, because these kushiages are going to be very special. Panko, which is like breadcrumbs, but if you cannot find these, which is very easy to find in the Asian aisles of any supermarket, then you can use regular breadcrumbs. And, well, we are going to make some kushiages with cheese, some kushiages with shrimp, and some kushiages with plantain, because in Mexico the plantain kushiages are very popular. So for the plantain kushiages, we'll get two ripe plantains. These are not bananas. These are plantains. Are different. Okay, so and check out that they are ripe. Monterey Jack cheese or pepper jack cheese. Normally we use manchego, but sometimes it's difficult to find or it's very expensive. So this is perfect. The only thing is that you need a cheese that can get melted but resist high temperatures. So that's why I decided to pick this kind of cheese. U15 shrimp. And we also need these sticks for the skewers, which are kushiages in English. I think. Unless I pronounce improperly, as sometimes it happens. Who cares? You understand what I mean. Look at them. Sticks. And we are also going to make a special sauce that goes with our delicious kushiages and for that we are going to use ketchup, regular ketchup and teriyaki sauce. Are you ready to assort? Okay, let's do it. Well, first step, we are going to peel and cut our plantain. It's very easy, so you cut the teeth and the beginning of the plantain and then you make a very light cut all along the plantain only to take the skin off and you peel it. <laughs> and we are going to cut the meat an inch long. You're gonna get like five 
deeper plantain because these are very small but sometimes you can find bigger plantains you see the size it's like one inch thick and we are going to cut our cheese too um, I'm in the mood of something spicy so I think that I'm going to work with the pepper jack cheese we are going to cut big and thick squares so let's cut the bar all along and then we are going to cut an inch that's it we need cubes of an inch so now we already have our cheese and we also have our plantain so we can start preparing these little guys over here for example I'm going to make one wheat plantain and cheese why not like this beautiful and we have the two flavors in one you can make them only with cheese if you prefer or only with plantain but I really like the combination of these two ingredients so that's why I make them all like this so we're going to put them in the freezer while we work with the other ingredients so they can get firm and when we fry them they don't get melted now let's clean our shrimp these are almost clean you see because they already took the vein from the shrimp so oh well I don't have to fight with them they're already clean so just take the shell of the shrimp and put the little wooden stick all along the body of the handsome little boy you see this little guy is ready to be eaten Now you see, these little guys are ready to be fried. Copy, copy. Okay, so what we are going to do with the eggs is a uh, mix so we can bread our kushiage. So crack the eggs in a bowl, add some salt just to season it, like a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Mix the eggs very well. And we are going to make the traditional. So first, put a lot of flour all around your kushiag. And then, put it into the egg. Dive it perfectly. And then, do the same with the breadcrumbs. With the panko. and dive it into the boiling oil. As you see, I already have here ready a tray with a paper towel so it can drain the extra oil in our kushiage. These five kushiage here are breaded with the panko and these other five here are made with coconut flakes you see all of them look beautiful they're going to taste different if you don't like coconut of course you don't use coconut flakes you only use the panko now let's do the same with the shrimp put the flour then dive them into the egg <laughs> you are going to burn and then I'm going to put coconut flakes and dive it into the boiling oil prepare that sauce. 
So we are going to use our ketchup like a tablespoon and then another tablespoon of teriyaki sauce and mix it and if you want to make it spicy why not put some of these tapatillo sauce which is like uh, sriracha so I'm going to put a couple of drops of these spicy sauce just to give a kick look at the consistency you see now look how beautiful are our kushiage these are perfect let's taste them I'm going to start with the kushiage of plantain and cheese. This was breaded with panko, so let's see. I dive it in the sauce, my gosh, I'm drooling. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the melted cheese inside. It's perfect. And this sauce is pretty good. Mmm. I love the cheese. And this pepper jack cheese is perfect for these kushiages. You have to taste them. Mm. 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 You can see there is a plantain. Mm. Now, let me taste the shrimp. Let me taste it. Mm. Mm. You see? Mm. These are perfect. Okay, my friends, well, this is all for today again. I hope you like these kushiages because they are amazing. Let's try them. Next weekend that we have this party at the winery, just make some of them and take them with you. And the sauce is perfect. And if you don't like this sauce, well, you can invent your own sauce, whatever you want to do. You can put some soy sauce with ketchup and mustard. Try the recipe. You can mix fish with shrimp, or you can put scallops, or you can put only cheese, or you can put only plantain, but try the combination, and with the coconut, it's amazing, because it's something completely new, so taste them, these kushiyagis, or kushikatsu, are the best, watachi wa victoria, arigato, see you next time, bye!